Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to make a Facebook cover in Photojet. If you're not familiar with Photojet, you can check my Photojet review. Essentially, Photojet is a web-based graphic design software, collage maker, and photo editor. And one of the features with Photojet is the ability to create social media covers and posts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Facebook cover photo. So go to photojet.com and it's free to use. And once you're on the website, choose Create Design. There's a section for social media headers, and there you will find one for Facebook cover. Once you click on it, you will see a blank canvas, and on the left sidebar, you will see various templates. I will choose this one right here, and once you click on it, it will place the template on the canvas. You can then click on various elements and use the contextual toolbars to edit text and images on the template. And if you'd like to change the template, just click on another template and it will be placed on the canvas. If you want to start from scratch, just select the whole template with your mouse, like so, and then hit the delete button. You can then insert various elements to start creating your Facebook cover. I'm going to add a photo by clicking this add photo button in the top right corner and choose run from my computer. I'll select the photo and then click open. You can then drag and drop it on the canvas and accordingly adjust it to fit the canvas. Next I'll insert some text. There are a whole bunch of text tiles to choose from and I'll choose this basic one. You will see a text box on the canvas which you can edit. So I just copied and pasted this quote. You can then move it around by dragging and dropping it. If you'd like to choose a different text style, you can just click on it, like so, and then rearrange it if you wish. You can use the contextual menu to change the font color effect, like so. And once you're happy with the cover photo, you can use the menu up top to save the cover photo. You will see this dialog box, give it a name, and then choose the file type, and then click the Save to Computer button. So these are some of the variations that I saved, but you will find many different other cool templates too, like these ones right here. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. Check this Photojet review to find out all the other features available in Photojet. Thanks for watching.